okay uh, let's start the chapter with the first question this is the first question of this session what is the question read the question properly and note down the answer also when is the force experienced by a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field largest okay so here so read the question carefully so answer is also given here so when the force experienced by the current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field is largest yes so when it is so if the direction of the magnetic field and the flow of the electric current are mutually perpendicular then force experienced by a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field is largest so you know the rule right <clears throat> if the direction of the uh, magnetic field so direction of the magnetic field and electric current flow of the electric current then when both are perpendicular to each other so which rule it is then the force experienced by a conductor will be more which rule it is anybody please confirm uh, based on which rule we can give the answer for this question that is based on the fleming's left hand rule right so based on this we can say the answer like this okay uh, note down the answer next question list two methods of producing the magnetic field so when we can produce the magnetic field anybody please confirm list the two methods of producing the magnetic field so magnetic field can be produced by using the magnet okay any magnet so bar magnet or horseshoe magnet they have the magnetic field their own magnetic field so by using the magnets we can produce the magnetic field and another one is using the electric current current carrying conductor so if the current is carrying through the conductor we can say that this conductor so that produces the electric uh, sorry magnetic field right so by using these two method we can produce the magnetic field by using the magnet use an electric current okay uh, note down that answer Okay, completed. Okay, so next question is, when does an electric short circuit occurs? So read the question, when does a electric short circuit occurs? So electric short circuit can be occurred during the insulation of the wires is damaged. You know that there are two types of the wires. So one is the positive wire and one is the negative wire, right? So when this insulation, so outside that insulation will be there. Outside the current carrying conductor, there will be a insulation. If that insulation is damaged, then there is a, a electric short circuit. Then there is a fault in an electrical appliance. So in any electrical appliance, for example, iron box or refrigerator, washing machine. So if there is any damage or fault, so that is also able to form the electric short circuit. Okay. Note down this one answer. Yes. 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next question. The power plant that generates the electricity without using the turbine is. So, this is related to the um, electricity chapter. Okay. So, don't worry about that. Uh, so, electricity and uh, the magnetic field produced by the electric current. So, both are related chapters. So, I kept this question. Uh, the power plant that generates the electricity without using the turbine. You know that in the hydro power plant, there will be a turbine. In the thermal power plant, there will be a tur turbine. So, when the turbine rotates, there is a formation of the uh, electric current and the nuclear power point there will it will be there but in the solar power point means using the sunlight directly using the sunlight the electricity is produced without using the turbines okay so remaining all power point power plant they have the uh, turbine but a solar power point that does not have the turbine for the production of the electricity okay so note down this answer Okay, can I change the slide? Yes, ma'am. Next question. Imagine you are holding a straight current carrying conductor. As per the right hand thumb rule, if the thumb is upward, then the direction of the field lines of the magnetic field is. So, just imagine you are holding the current carrying conductor. Okay, just imagine this is the current carrying conductor. You are holding the current carrying conductor like this. Okay, so you are holding like this. Then, so which rule you will apply here if the thumb is upward then the direction of the field lines of the magnetic field is so your thumb is here okay just imagine your thumb so your thumb is here and your fingers are around this uh, current carrying conductor then uh, this thumb represent the so your thumb represent what when you are holding the current carrying conductor your thumb is going to represent about representing what direction of the current and your uh, remaining fingers remaining four fingers around the conductor that represents the magnetic field so how the magnetic field is uh, produced in the straight conductor when the current is carrying in a straight conductor so the magnetic field is produced in a concentric circles right so the concentric circles will be like this then what is the direction of the magnetic field lines in this field what is the direction is it clockwise anti-clockwise downward or upward so how you will represent this so you are holding just imagine just apply the right hand thumb rule how the your fingers are around that current carrying conductor is this clockwise or anti clockwise direction just imagine this is the conductor so this is the direction of the current your whole your thumb is in this direction and what will be the magnetic direction of the magnetic field lines so magnetic field is produced in a concentric circles so magnetic field lines are like this so what will be the <coughs> direction of the magnetic field lines is it anti-clockwise or clockwise so it will be in this direction that is the so you are holding like this right so in this direction means that is a anti-clockwise direction 
ಅಲ್ವಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಫಿಗರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಫಿಗರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಎ ಬಿ ನೇಮ್ ದ ರೂಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಡ್ ಯೂ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಟಪ್ ಹಿಯರ್ Uh, there is a electric circuit okay so electric circuit and uh, there is a uh, steel rod is connected here there is a uh, one copper rod is connected or any other metal rod is connected here ab is the rod and it is placed in between the north and south pole of the magnet okay so that is the horseshoe magnet and this uh, rod is hanged like this in a electric field okay so when the current is flowing in this direction so when the um, battery is on the current is start to flow in the positive to the negative direction then what the current is flowing from b to a right the current is flowing from b to a direction then how it is moving in which direction this rod is moving so which rule we will apply here we can apply here right hand thumb rule or uh, fleming's left hand rule so here we are applying the fleming's left hand rule so here this rule helps for the identification of the force acting on the current carrying conductor ab right so what is the fleming's left hand rule so here if you hold these three fingers thumb index finger and the middle finger so these three fingers should be in a perpendicular direction okay so here what it indicates middle finger that indicates the direction of the current and this index finger e finger in it alwa so that indicates the magnetic uh, sorry uh, this indicates the magnetic field and this thumb indicates the the direction of the force applied okay so these are the uh, three fingers uh, so that help for the identification of the in which direction the uh, force is applied just this is is the middle finger so current is flowing in this direction and here there is a magnetic field and force is applied in this direction alva so e direction al en aagta ide so that uh, rod is moving alva so here we can apply which rule here here we can apply the left hand rule fleming's left hand rule alva so idanna note maadkoli ee reetiyagu questions anna nimge keltare note maadkondiri yes ma'am okay what is solenoid next question is what is solenoid write the properties of the magnetic field lines formed around the current carrying solenoid okay so here solenoid you know that what is solenoid so that is coiled when the conductor is coiled like this alva so idanna one electric field ige ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನ ಸೊಲೆನಾಯ್ಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೊಲೆನಾಯ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊಲೆನಾಯ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕಾಯಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ವೈಯರ್ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಟು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಆನ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಇಟ್ ಆಫನ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಡಿವೈಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊಲೆನಾಯ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕಾಯಿಲ್ of wire coil of wire 
designed to create the magnetic field so here this is able to create the magnetic field and so when it creates the magnetic field when the current passes through it okay so that is used in the electromechanical devices and the um, that is used for the formation of the electromagnets so that is nothing but the solenoid then what is the second question second question is write the properties of the magnetic field lines formed around the current carrying solenoid how the magnetic field lines are produced around the current carrying solenoid so just imagine this is the solenoid so magnetic so this is the uh, north pole and this is the south pole always the magnetic field lines in the solenoid they are similar to the bar magnet so so they extend from north to the south pole and they form the continue loop alva on the continue loop and a formation madate and they are they never intersect each other alva so intersect agodilla so they are very similar to, they are similar to the bar magnet and in the inside the solenoid the electric field lines are perpen uh, sorry parallel to each other and they start from south to north alva so e ella characters bar magnet magnetic field lines in characters baritir alva so ella characters anna ni barivekagutte here what is alternate current electric appliances having the metallic body are connected to the earth wire why so here alternate current that topic is not there so just we can go for the next question that is uh, why the metallic uh in uh, appliances so uh, electric appliances they are connected to the earth wire alva so earth wire anta ondu wire ta adakke yake connect agirutte anta alva so here that earth wire that helps for the that uh, uh, ensures the leakage of the current from the metallic body so electric current uh, leakage aagta idre en madutte so that is able to Uh, that is able to uh, remove that uh, leakage of the current and that will transfer to the earth alva so then madatte a current enagodilla alli metallic surface alli current extra leakage iro tara madodilla alva so that is the use of the uh, that earth wire see the next question note down this question what are the reasons for occurring the overload in an electric circuit alva so electric circuit alli overload yavaga agutte anta very important question this is question is also asked in the uh, different uh, question paper okay idana note maadkoli question anna note maadkoli ನೋಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರಾ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಕರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಓವರ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಇನ್ ಆನ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಸೊ ಓವರ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಓವರ್ ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಕ ಫೆನ್ ದ ಲೈವ್ ವೈರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲ್ ವೈರ್ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲ್ ವೈರ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಲೈವ್ ವೈರ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ when they come to direct contact when the insulation is removed so insulation of the wire is removed insulation remove aadaga insulation yavaga remove agutte so insulation is removed for example this is the current carrying wire so this capacity is uh, for example 1 ampere okay but here this is connected to the a uh, variable devices two or three devices but capacity is very less e wire alli current carry agiruvanta ondu capacity kadme irutte but these devices they draw the more current e devices ki jaasti current beku but illi ast current enagta illa flow aagta illa then the overloading occurs overload aadaga enagutte so that uh, wires positive and the negative 
ಕನೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವಯರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಅದೆರಡು ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಸುಲೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ಸುಲೇಷನ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಆಗಿ ಏನಾಗತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೋಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ವಯರ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಓವರ್ ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಕಾಮನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡೇ ಟು ಡೇ ಲೈಫ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಅಪ್ಲಯನ್ಸಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಡೇ ಟು ಡೇಲಿ ಈ ವರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಓಕೆ next question is list the properties of the magnetic field due to the flow of the electric current in a solenoid what are the two methods of increasing the magnetic field in a solenoid can you give the uh, can you write the answer for the first question list the properties of the magnetic field due to the flow of the electric current in a solenoid so what is the characteristics of that magnetic field lines in a solenoid adanna now already answer madidvi alva solenoid alli magnetic field yav tara formation agutte magnetic field lines characteristics enu adanna already discuss madidvi alva then what are the two methods of increasing the magnetic field in a solenoid solenoid alli now magnetic field na increase madbeku andre so how we can increase the magnetic field in a solenoid we can increase the magnetic field in a solenoid by increasing the number of turns in the coil so solenoid andre nimge gottide enagirutte ee reetiyagi coil agiruvanta ondu conductor irutte alva so if you increase the number of turns then what happens magnetic strong magnetic field is produced are you getting my point so if you increase the magnetic field uh, sorry uh, this number of turns then the magnetic field is increased then increasing the current through the coil so if you pass the more current through this coil then also magnetic field is increased okay so note down these two points how you can increase the magnetic field inside the solenoid okay so when you complete this slide you can inform me okay after that i will change the slide is that completed yes ma'am okay see here in fleming's right hand rule the middle finger indicates the direction of a induced electric current magnetic field motion of the conductor mechanical force so uh, you know the uh, fleming's right hand rule alpha so in fleming's right hand rule the middle finger indicates the direction of the what it think indicates anybody
Okay. So here we have studied Fleming's left hand rule. Alva. So now study Madi Rodu uh, left hand rule. Okay. So I will check on this question. I will explain this question in the uh, next class. Okay. I hope this is changed. Means this question is asked in the previous year question paper. Question paper ali kaili dui question anna. But uh, we didn't study about the uh, Fleming's right hand rule, right? Next question. Magnetic field lines are, so they are not able to intersect. They are not intersect each other. What is the reason behind that? So already in the class, I have explained that. So magnetic field, so just imagine this is the bar magnet. Around that bar magnet, so there will be a magnetic field lines will be there, right? So magnetic field lines, so always we draw the magnetic field lines like this only. But we are not drawing the magnetic field lines like this. So now draw model. What is the reason behind this? So, magnetic field lines do not intersect each other because if they did, it would mean that at the point of intersection, so if they did like this, this is the bar magnet and if they intersect like this, they would be two different directions for the magnetic field. Means they are not uh, belongs to this magnetic field. This field line is belongs to the another magnetic field. Okay. And which is not possible. Each point of in a magnetic field has only one direction of the field. So the lines they never intersect each other. Okay. So Adrinda in Agirate magnetic field lines in Agudilla. So they will not intersect each other. Very important question can note down this one these all are very important questions note down this one Completed. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So here, what are the functions of an earth wire? It is necessary to connect the electric appliances having the metallic body to the earth wire in the domestic electric circuit. Why? Explain. Okay. So earth wire. So what is the function of the earth wire? When the electric circuit is connected to the electric appliances when there is a leakage of the electric current alva so then that metallic body is able to carry that current but uh, then what the earth wire will do the earth wire that will carry the the leakage of the electric current to the uh, Earth, Alva. So Earth ke e rite ki wandu wire connect aagi rathe. Nimma maneli be kaze check maadi. Aden maadte extra leakage current iro thena metal body in the electric appliances metal body in the maadte. So adu uh, Earth ke adana uh, supply maadte. Alva Earth ke adana uh, connect maadi thare. Then in a domestic electric circuit in everybody's house commonly Earth wire will be there. 
so what is the use of the earth wire there, there is a necessary that is the necessary wire that should be connected in the uh, domestic electric circuit what is the reason behind this because so the person uh, if any electric appliances that is like the current okay so ali current leakage aagta ide andre so that metallic body is can conduct the electric current and the person may experience a severe shock alva so ali shock enagabodu ali agutte adakke en maadbardu ali earth wire na join maadirbeku ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ದ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ವೈರ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಅ ಸೇಫ್ ಪಾತ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಫ್ಲೋ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಅದೇನ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಗೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಸುಲೇಷನ್ ಫೇಲ್ಯೂರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟ್ ದ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಶಾಕ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ದ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಫೈರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎನ್ಶೂಸ್ ದ ಸೇಫ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಬೋತ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈನ್ಸಸ್ ಸೊ that is the use of the earth wire okay so note down this yes can i change the slide yes ma'am okay so here these all questions are uh, from the previous year question paper okay very important question so note down these all question answer because that will help for your uh, for the board exam so you are facing the board exam right so for that it is helping while reading for the exams also it is very useful because i am giving the separate um, i mean so from chapter wise important questions so note down this questions okay uh, then next question the magnetic field lines are inside the solenoid are in the form of parallel straight lines the reason for this magnetic field inside the solenoid is so what is the reason behind this so why they are uh, so how we are drawing inside the solenoid the magnetic sorry so inside the solenoid which is similar to the bar magnet alva so ill enagirutte parallel agirutte alva ಸೊ ಯಾಕೆ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಹೈ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಸೊಲೆನಾಡ್ ದರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಹೈ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಯೂನಿಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಬೈ ಅ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ um solenoid so in the solenoid when the magnetic field is produced the inside the solenoid there will be a, a parallel magnetic field lines because there is a uniform magnetic field alva next question observe the diagram the magnetic poles represented by p and q are respectively so p and q are which poles they are south and south north and south north and north south and north yes so you know the uh, characteristics of the magnetic field lines always they are, they are extended from how they are extended north to south alva so north to south en agirutte adu extend agirutte so if it is a south so this is 
north and this is south. Here also see the direction they are extended from north to south. Here this is north and this is south. And here observe this here both the magnetic field lines are they are repelling each other. They are not attracting each other. Alva. So repel laktai there. Then what is the uh, both poles are here that is what is the correct answer here? Option A, that is the correct answer. So, note down this question, very important. Okay, can I change the slide? Yes, ma'am. Okay. How does overload and short circuit occurs in the electric circuit? Explain what is the function of the fuse during this situation. Okay. And mention the two properties of the magnetic field lines. So here, first you have to uh, write what is overload and what is short circuit. Overloading occurs, already I have explained that overloading occurs when too many electrical devices are connected to a circuit, drawing a more current than a circuit is designed to handle. Okay, so in for example, this is one electrical circuit. So in these circuits, there is, that is handled to design 5 ampere current. Okay, so but this, is, this circuit is connected to a electrical bulb, then um, a refrigerator, then a uh, electric uh, a washing machine like this. Many appliances which are drawing the more current. Then what happens? Overloading. Then what happens here? The both the wires, negative and positive wires, the insulation is removed, and when they are connected, when both are insulations are removed, both the wires are connected and form the overloading. Okay. So that is nothing but a overloading. So note down this. Okay, so can I change the slide? What is a short circuit? Short circuit occurs when a direct connection is made between the two points in a circuit with a different electrical potential. So this creates a path of very low resistance allowing the amount of current flow suddenly. So in agate, uh, sudden nagi current to uh, flow agate alva. For example, uh, if the circuit is connected to the uh, device, but what happens? Uh, there is a uh, removal of some uh, overloading agi illay nagi ratte kelvan sala insulation remove agi ratte alva. So agi nagi ratte illi current flow agda ratte alva. So that is forming the short circuit. Andre circuit complete ago kinta munche nagta the electric. Uh, electricity is electric current is passing through the wire so uh, electricity and that is completing the short circuit so that is nothing but a short circuit in a 
uh, electric field okay so you can note down this answer Okay, can I change the slide? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then uh, again one more question is there. So what is the function of the fuse? So that, that you have to find out that I have explained in the last class. What is the function of the fuse? That is very important. So in the electric uh, circuit, so there is a, they will use the uh, electric fuse. Alba. So in uh, one meter connect electric meter connect and you can observe the electric fuse also alba so the electric fuse anu nodabodu so what is the use of that electric fuse that you can find out okay note down that what is the function of the electric fuse okay so that is the first question then uh, what are the characteristics of the electric field lines sorry magnetic field lines uh, what are the characteristics of the magnetic field lines? So that is very important. What are the characteristics of the magnetic field lines? So uh, three to four characters are there. So that is very important. Okay. So here the power plant in which natural source of energy is directly used to rotate the turbine. Okay, so see this question, the natural source of energy that is used for the, uh, directly used for the rotation of the turbine. So turbine rotate aglike direct agi natural energy na use martha, where it is thermal power, power plant, hydroelectric power plant, nuclear power plant and the solar power plant. So in the solar power plant there is no use of the turbine salva so in the hydroelectric mate nuclear ali direct agi turbine in agodilla natural source in the uh, turbine rotate agodilla hagadre yell in the agate sorry uh, that is from the uh, not from the thermal power plant and the nuclear power plant that is from the Ali hydroelectric power plant. Alva. So water in Madatan. Hydroelectricity. Hydro means water. Direct agi turbine tirgodara madatalva. So that is the natural source of energy that is used for the rotate the rotation of the turbines. Okay. Note down this answer. Yes, is that completed? Next question. The magnetic field lines inside the solenoid are in the form of parallel straight lines. What is the reason for this? So this question already we have completed. Alva. So e question anna already now note mark code is away. Okay. So so here it completes this session. So this is the last question in this session. Okay. So note mark contra answer anna note mark contra. Yes. Okay. So if you have any doubt, you can ask on this chapter. Any doubts? Another doubt is yeah. No, ma'am. 
okay uh, so uh, in next session we can continue okay so very these all once again i am repeating this these all questions are from previous year uh, papers okay so board exam papers so note down these all questions and practice the answers also uh, this chapter is also very important for board exam okay so thank you we'll meet in the next session